So the Houston police chief gives an update on Takeoff's murder investigation. But are you buying it? I'm asking you. I'm going to run my intro, and then we'll get in exactly to what he said. I'll share my thoughts, but share to keep your people aware. Let's get it started. They used to say, words couldn't hurt me. Videos, just my name, they getting thirsty. Go ahead and put him in a hearse. It's getting murky, this time I deserve this. I'm ready for whatever war said he been a man at door. Stand for the things I'm dreaming for. Takeoff's murder investigation has yet to result in any arrest, but Houston Police Chief Troy Finner is confident progress is being made and justice will be served. The Migos rapper was shot and killed at the age of 28 following an altercation outside of Houston Bowling Alley on November 1st. While countless tributes to the rap star has poured in, a huge memorial service was held in his honor at Atlanta State Farm Arena. Fans have been critical of HPD for its seemingly slow response. I feel good when we're progressing, Finner told the local outlet KPRC2 this week. You remember, on that day, I met with his mother. I talked with that lady personally, made a promise, and there's a lot being said. We all want investigations on murders when people are being killed to move. But the main thing is that we get it right, he added. I do not want to send family members on a roller coaster ride, and then we had to come back and say, whoa. That wasn't the person. I want everyone to be patient and just understand there will be some justice here in Houston, Texas. Finn, who previously urged witnesses to come forward with information about the shooting, added that the coming in and the person responsible for takeoff's murder will be found. I don't want to discuss any details on it, but I can tell you that we will find a person and we will identify the person or persons responsible for takeoff's death. He said, I don't like talking too much while investigations are going on. I'm a person that says, you know what? Let people talk. But my thing is, I'll talk when we get that person and we put him in jail. That's somewhat commendable. Somewhat. But this puts a bad spotlight on Houston as a whole. Let's just be fair, square, obvious, and honest. This makes a lot of people in Houston look bad. Why do they look bad? Because when we're hanging around certain individuals, nothing's supposed to happen to us unless we get out of our body. Now, one thing I will say, and people did point out a lot, I mean a lot, that one, why didn't take off people put any money towards the capture or basically a reward of this individual who did it now there's speculatory things about who did what and who did what and everything like that so i won't put that out there but the biggest thing that i keep reverting back to is why is it the first things that we heard from people that was there was it was friendly fire and that's the biggest takeaway from that is the first messages out of there was friendly fire that it wasn't the entourage that proceeded with mob tires and nothing like that. It was friendly fire. So that could be a reason. But we don't know. It's all speculatory at this part. But what I would say is this to the police chief. Every day that you wait, it's bad. It's bad because it doesn't seem like y'all care at all. When you let the internet run rampant, you got to quell things. So that's the part where I hate that he even said anything because it's like, bro, you really don't care. It should be every Monday you should be addressing like, hey, we're following leads and stuff like that. Just to calm people down. You don't understand something or you do. Either you understand that the theories and everything will keep on dropping and there's nothing you can do about that. Or you could understand that the more you don't say something, the more people want to take stuff into their own hands. Because if it seems like you ain't going to do nothing, well, then I'll do something. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts on this one here. Do y'all do y'all like what the police chief even said? I'm just curious. Is his statement good enough for you? Or are you like me? Like, bro, you should have been said this. By the second week, you should have been saying this. Hey, I'm going to give you guys an update on this real quick because... You could potentially save somebody's life. And one of the things he did say, and I agree with it 1,000%, you can't just pull in a suspect because, and I said this in a previous video, because once you do and if you release him, 
He's going to be stigmatized for the rest of his life as the person who did it and got away with it. Whoever and whomever in which you bring. So do you need a smoking gun? Yeah, you kind of do. So I will grant him that. But the lack of reaching back out to the public because you're really talking to the street dudes that may be in Houston that's ready to throw away their lives for nothing. And that's the unfortunate part. But y'all hit that hit that bell. Tomorrow we're going to have a hell of a live, man. And I'm going to drop a video on like five hours after this about Young Dolph and his special witness and the other side special witness because this Rico that's about to drop is going to be possibly the biggest Rico in Tennessee. Forget Memphis. It's going to be the biggest. It's going to be the biggest freaking, what's the name? In, in Memphis history, the biggest Rico in history. But I'm telling you, this might be, I got to go do some research, but this might be the biggest Rico that they drop. And this is multiple gangs. This ain't just the two that y'all thinking of. No, bro, this is Memphis as a whole. And they've been already plotting the seeds. But I'll get into it and I'll catch y'all there. I'll expand, man. I mean, expound more in the next video. So make sure you got that bell. Hit this video at 3,000 likes. If you don't see that 3,000 likes, man, do me a solid and hit that one if I earned your like. And subscribe if I earned your sub. Let me know y'all thoughts on what I just spoke on. Y'all expect me to keep it real? Because you know that I will. I do this daily, baby. Check out the Nightly Nash podcast. Also, Street of Music, Setting Nash, if you have not. It's on all streaming platforms. Guaranteed you're going to find something you like. Probably like that overly thugging freestyle. Or maybe something different. Let me know in the comments. We possibly shoot that music video.